All right, my name is Christopher Smith. I am a civil rights lawyer in Nashville, Tennessee with DRS Law. Today I wanted to talk about a specific street law scenario uh, that comes up quite a bit and explain what your constitutional rights are in that situation and what your rights aren't. In other words, the rights that you don't have. And I'm going to pick this specific example because I've seen a least two major national news incidents involving excessive force uh, where somebody ends up dead or, or subsequently ends up dead in jail uh, because of a traffic stop gone wrong. I think most famously the Sandra Bland incident in Texas where there was an exchange about whether she had to get out of the car. The end up, uh, officer ends up arresting her and then she died at jail supposedly of uh, suicide, self-inflicted injuries. Her family ended up settling a lawsuit for $1.9 million uh, over that incident. But I think that uh, just speculating, they probably would prefer to have their loved one back, to have Sandra Bland back alive. And I make this video because I think if people kind of knew this on the front end, knew what their rights are and what they aren't, maybe uh, future horrible situations can be avoided. So let's get into the sort of specifics of the law. Let's say that you've been pulled over um, for an expired tag. You have an expired license plate tag. And the officer pulls you over and tells you to get out of the car. Do you have any right to tell that officer, no, I'm not getting out of the car? Do you have any right to say, excuse me, officer, why are you telling me to get out of the car? The answer is no. You don't have this right. And it comes from a case called Pennsylvania versus MIMS on basically exactly those facts. Uh, MIMS was driving a vehicle with an expired tag. He was pulled over and he was told to exit the vehicle. And then when he did, the officer saw what looked like what might have been a gun on his person, like a, a bulge in his, in his clothing. They searched him and found a gun. So they charged him with possessing that firearm illegally. He was convicted. He served time in jail. And then he filed a motion to suppress the evidence of that firearm on the basis that the order to get out of the car was unreasonable and was a seizure under the Fourth Amendment. The Pennsylvania State Supreme Court agreed with him and said that, in fact, it was a seizure and that it was subject to attack on the basis of reasonableness and the motion to suppress should have been granted. The Supreme Court, in an interesting opinion that is uh, unauthored, which is to say it's per curiam, which means no one justice put his name on it at that time, by the way, it was all men on the court. Um, it was a 6-3 opinion and it was decided entirely on the briefing. There was no oral argument no hearing on this issue. The court decided that it's basically always reasonable if the stop is lawful for an officer to tell the occupants to get out of the car, that that is basically per se reasonable, uh, even if the Fourth Amendment actually applies, even if that is a seizure. So what that means is if you get pulled over for any reason and the officers order you out of the car, you got to do it. You can't argue with them. Now, this assumes, of course, that the initial traffic stop is lawful, but you can litigate that after the fact. In other words, if they stopped you pretextually, if they made up a reason uh, for stopping you, you can attack that by hiring a lawyer, you know, civil rights lawyer. But what you won't be able to do is if this escalates and, you know, they end up using a taser and somebody ends up dead is to fix that. Now, of course, there are criticisms of this law, and the first is that all traffic stops aren't exactly created equal. For example, um, a traffic stop late at night in a high-drug, high-crime neighborhood where the suspect is fleeing from the police while armed is very different from just stopping an elderly couple on their way home from church on Sunday morning. In other words, those contexts are different, and the reasonableness of the officer's fear for his or her own safety is also different. But the court basically just says all traffic stops are created equal, and anytime the initial stop is reasonable, lawful, 
then ordering the occupants out of the car is not unreasonable. Now, the other criticism is that uh, this rule from Pennsylvania versus MIMS will sort of authorize unnecessary and arrogant, I believe those are the two words from the dissent, Justice Stevens' dissent, unnecessary and arrogant policing behavior, which I think is fully on display in the Sandra Bland incident where Sandra Bland mistakenly believes that she doesn't have to get out of the car, that the officer has to give her some sort of reason. But then the officer's reaction to that, and his, even his invocation of that, that rule that the occupant, Sandra Bland, is supposed to get out, is also sort of ridiculous on the facts. This specific sort of encounter and this rule of law is the source of a lot of tensions between civilians and uh, law enforcement. And it's something where citizens need to know their rights because if they don't they could find themselves in a really big uh, problem potentially fatal problem so uh, i hope this video has been helpful and i hope that um, you guys will look up pennsylvania versus mims and this is going to be part of a series we're going to do on knowing your rights what they are and what they aren't so that you can be really informed uh, for going out there into the world so um, like and subscribe if you got something out of this and we'll see you next time